So I'm taking this tray away because it's rusted. So I'm going to clean this at the garage. Then I'm just using zinc paint and then stone chipping paint, the white one. So it's not. I didn't even know that there is white one, but I was maybe just getting the black one. But if you can get the white, why not? Because I can always fix these. These are painted with a stone chip paint sometime, I don't know when, to change this positive soil. And the, that is the reason why I'm working here. As you can see that there is a fuse holder here, there is one cable going there, then there is one cable here what is not connected to anything. I don't know, should it be connected to something? I don't know, but I'm chasing the soil where is the bolt bolt here or the nut here or maybe soil like where is multiple nuts so I can use the big one for the starter then I can have like two smaller ones the reason is right now like with this soil you cannot add anything here or you basically can add stuff here but you cannot have something like 16 millimeter cable coming here and big big ring connector so that is so bad dressing when it's casted inside here so I'm just the cable goes here and I don't know where it is going so that is also one reason why I'm taking this away it's almost raining like every day so I need to change the casket here or the seal I have the new casket. It seems like it's leaking at the bottom section. And like I did show you yesterday, this one is leaking somewhere from here. And I want to paint this black and then have like vinyl cover here or tape cover, black tape here. I did already change the wipers, but I don't know what is this stuff. We have the the seal or the etke cover or whatever what you can basically see the white stuff here white metal strip that is top of that but it was loose and it was dirty so I did take that away from from the etke and I'm cleaning that I think the glass is original from 98 it seems like that and the black film is somehow like going away, but I don't know what is the white stuff here. Maybe moisture or something? That doesn't really make sense, but... So this plastic cover is top of the... cover, top of that tray and we have the new pipe. I will show you what I did with the new pipe and then we have the crowding points and everything that I'm going to clean with the Vire brush uh, at the Dremel and then we have the electric Vaseline at the connections then I'm going to loop everything like the cables and everything mm, also when, when I'm under the hood I can check that maybe we need to change the top mounts for the radiator and this is pretty interesting also it doesn't stay in the hole like that but when you open the bonnet then it's always here mm. it's, it's it's pretty okay but it's not okay because if it's staying like this then it's the wire is always edge of the ring or the hole I don't know can you Tighten the cable or something. Seems like no. Hmm. Yeah. Let me take this away. And just in time, it's getting dark and windy, so I think there is rain. So this is the starter motor side. It's pretty okay. It's pretty standard. Then it, there is like plastic clip here, 
here, here, here, and then it's free. So this plastic tube is under the battery tray. And then we have It looks like there is more than one. One, two, three. There is only three cables. This is a little bit interesting. I'm not 100% sure what is this. It's just hanging on the side of the battery tray. This is going to... Uh, going to the Megafuse. What is here? And then you have this plastic cover and the other side for it. And this is screwed here. So the Megafuse is here. While I'm doing this, I don't know what is this Fuse box here. There is some way it pushes here. Almost impossible to change or do anything. This is the engine cut off cut off switch if you collide with something. This is pretty interesting. I'm not hundred percent sure what is this. There is a lot of things what I'm not hundred percent sure. But it goes to that fuse box. But this yellow thing is going also to the same fuse box. That is that is really bad dressing when you are you are adding the connector like this type. Uh, just next to the connector here. I may, maybe want to solder that or something, but there is not that much room between the connector and the connection here. I need to check if I can dismantle this connector and solder this yellow here and then use some heat shrink to the top of that. And as you can see, we have big oil leak, or maybe somebody did just did miss the hole or something. I'm not sure is it coming from the oil filter, but I'm not happy with this cable here. Maybe I need to re-rotate top of the oil line here. It's chip tied to the oil line. Just barely you can see that here, but it's like this when you are driving, so maybe that is the gearbox training plug. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that the auto that it saw it like side mounted, not bottom mounted. So I did find a little bit moisture problem here. As you can see, the water is going here, and there is no glue or anything. There is no puddle or anything here. The puddle is this side. But as you can see, inside here, the plywood is soaked. And it's because it's, it's getting the rain is getting here. And then it's moving here, and this is like U-shaped aluminium list here and the plywood is touching this list so when it's like this the water is going here between the panel and the, this plastic here and then it's dripping all the water here and it's soaking the plywood so there is two pieces plywood here one this side one this side and if I do it like this No, it's not tripping, but it was... Oh yeah, it's tripping. That is bad. So my plan is basically just... use a clear polymer glue here. And here. And... Maybe just take the screws from here and over here and take this cover away, take the screws away, uh, mask this with the painter's tape and put the clear 
glue inside and then just screw this back in and then just add a little bit clear glue here and the, the seam over here inside and the and the downsize because you you, you can see it's pretty bad it's not like soft or anything but i don't really want to get that soft the main thing what i'm doing right now is to remove these or i i remove one and then i can go to boat section tomorrow at the shop and get the new one from the exit proof stainless steel and we also change the straps and the, the screws are going to be stainless steel and exit proof so there is like one screw here two here one here two here and one here and we are going to clean this and paint this at least the bottom half is going to be painted with the stone chipping paint because as you can see the paint is all away and you can see the fiberglass so we need to coat this like at least somewhere like over here the other section is the bottom is pretty bad but the upper piece is pretty okay and it's also soundproofing this little bit you can see that this is not that thick and the bottom half is basically there is no seal or anything and same time we need to check something like this this needs the clear glue here just to be safe and because this is the One section, what is basically, yeah, it's touching that. So during the winter or anything, when it's outside, the snow is gathering here, and when it's melting, then it's going to inside the wall. And the plan is to just remove these and use rivets, use a glue on the hole, and aluminium rivet here, so the glue is coming out, and then I'm just smoothing the edges and sanding the river a little bit down and paint this white because it's, it's a little bit weird looking when the, all the hatches have something like this we need to we need to basically get new one here and the other side i think it's missing the even the whole damn upper piece so aluminium rivets and glue so it's not leaking anything inside it was pretty stuck there so i did the angle grinder for the rivet and it didn't really really loose and and the other half did just leave at the car so here is the positive cable and new creeped head here this is m10 but the bolt is m8 but i didn't find anything smaller with the smaller hole so this is 35 millimeter cable or something it seems like this is 35 and then this comes here and we put the cover here get the tube here it's going almost something from here to here and there is the tool so this cable is just going from the battery terminal to nowhere so i'm not going to put this back because if you need something like this i can save this or if you need to have the battery terminal for something the positive side then just hook straight to the battery this is the original so, so I don't know what is the thing. It has a sleeve here, or the still the cable has the 
over on when it's going inside this lead block. So yesterday we did go to Glass Olson and we did get the 120 watt, uh, watt uh, solar panel. We did try to find the, the only the solar panel what was costing 80 euros. Uh, it's still like 120 watts and it's the same panel, but then there is the solar panel set what is costing 99 euros or something. No, it's the, the solar panel was costing 90 euros and the solar panel set was costing uh, 99 euros or 100 euros. It, it comes with the solar charge controller, it comes with 10 meter cables, it comes with the mounting hardware, so there is six mounting hardware pieces or four. I can't remember. But yeah, that is going to be installed at the back side of the RV, so at the, at the flat surface on the roof between the sun windows or the roof windows. There is good enough space for the 120 watt panel, so why not? It's, it's easier to install that way, plus it's easier to have the USB connection for the uh, mobile network or internet. So that is the why we are doing it this way. And in future we can basically add one big panel at the, at the front of the motorhome, but I don't know, do we really need that, because the motor is also, I'm, I'm hooking everything, so the motor battery is also charging the laser battery, so I have basically three days to go, and then it needs to be ready. So today, Monday, yeah, Wednesday is the final basically day when I need to still change the oil, uh, replace the whole damn electric system and maybe change the coolant and I don't know I didn't even get my morning coffee today so now it's 10 now it's 10 a.m. so I'm going to get coffee from the shop 